I'm going to put all of us in a situation. We're homeless, we have no food, no water, no shelter. Majority of our friends and family have been killed by a natural disaster, or an earthquake. Would any of y'all have, would y'all have faith in anything or even a simple smile like this? I witness children and adults in these exact conditions that were smiling, praising God, and just generally happy with having next to nothing. And it's just crazy to me to think about because you said no and they're just, they have nothing like, they have nothing at all and they're happy with having nothing. <laughs> next slide. Okay, today we're just going to talk about two main points, the circumstances in Haiti and the main goal of healing Haiti. And this is very close to my heart because I spent a week there, and it's it's a trip. You see stuff and do stuff that you just can't get off your mind, and it's it's pretty hard. But um, that's what I'm going to talk to you about today. One of the most memorable experiences I had was visiting the general hospital, and the term hospital conjures up images in our head of a sterile environment and doctors at a push of a button, medicine in every corner, and it's just this clean, healthy place where you're accepted. That's nothing at all what it's like in Haiti. Haiti hospitals are basically a free place to die. It's a concrete slab with four walls, no medicine, no doctors, no nurses. It's, it's a sight, and it's really sad. Um, the main purpose of uh, healing Haiti is, oh, I'm sorry. For instance, I saw a man in a hospital um, who, who appeared dead, and I made my way over there, and he was just very malnourished and very dehydrated, and I was like, I started to cry, because if you just see this guy, he looks dead, and he's just looking at me with no hope in his eyes, nothing. And I sat with him after hours of feeding him and giving him fresh water. He talked for the first time in months. And he smiled at me and said, like, thank you, thank you, mercy, mercy, like, in Creole. And it was, like, I cried for, like, five hours after that. <laughs> it was pretty intense. And it was, um, yeah, and it was, it changed my life from that moment on. I, I don't look at life, I look at life differently. I'm more grateful for things. Like, I don't have to have the latest, spot, like, styles or fashion or stuff like that. But... Um, the main purpose of the main purpose of healing Haiti is not to, I guess, change things or change their culture in any way. It's more of an organization that restores hope for them and gives them an easier life and a better life to live. So. Um, and we don't want to like provide them with materialistic things because we have materialistic things in the United States, and it blocks our view of like what life's all about and what we really need to think about instead of all these materialistic things. So the goal is to provide them with a skill that will help them become self-sufficient and help them have more of a secure future. And that's what I love about it, because they're not, we're not trying to change the way they do things, the way they look at life, because why would you not change someone that loves life as much as they do with having nothing? So it's really it's a really great organization, and we don't want them to become dependent on handouts either. So we give them enough to self-sustain them and, again, show them that skill so they can earn money themselves and pay for food and, like, water packets. So that's really great. And um, considering that 90% of you guys were unaware that the citizens and the circumstances of the citizens of Haiti, it's, I hope that I've enlightened you about Haiti and healing Haiti and what they're trying to do and what they're trying to accomplish. And about this country and just how much help it needs. So I really hope that y'all have a different perspective on life and just how lucky we are and how grateful you should be. Thank you.